This program provides education, not advice. Sponsors pay a fee for endorsements and interviews. See the truthayf.com disclosure page for details. This is where technology, innovation, and personal finance come together. This is the truth about your future with Rick Edelman. Brought to you by Global X ETFs, dedicated to providing investors with unexplored intelligent solutions, and by Invesco QQQ. Anyone can become an agent of innovation with Invesco QQQ, Invesco Distributors, Inc. It's Tuesday, July 11th. You know, back in May, there was a big tech investor who's been a big fan of Bitcoin who said crypto is dead in America. Now, this is a guy who has said Bitcoin is going to hit $200,000 in price. And he's now been saying that the government is trying to kill crypto. He's noted that the SEC has been suing crypto companies for selling unregistered securities, that the OCC and the FDIC have been shutting down banks for letting crypto companies open checking accounts with them. Remember Signature Bank and Silicon Valley Bank and First Republic Bank? Well, you have to ask yourself a question. Are you willing to invest in something that might be dead in America? Well, there are two responses that you need to regard. First, Whenever you're dealing with an innovative, emerging new technology, you need to recognize there are massive investment risks. You shouldn't invest anything that you're not preparing to lose 100% of your investment in. That's the first premise. This is why I largely say to folks that if you're going to invest in crypto, you should only invest 1% of your portfolio. 1% is not going to destroy you if it goes broke, but if it performs as people are hoping... That 1% could have a material impact in your total return of your portfolio. So the upside reward is pretty good. The downside risk, well, it'd be annoying, but not devastating. So that's the first premise. Recognize the incredible high level of risk associated with this. Number two, when it comes to crypto in particular, who cares if crypto is dead in America? Crypto has been dead in China, for example, and the only people who have cared are the Chinese. In other words, crypto is a global asset, trading 24-7. It's kind of like gold and oil. They trade 24-7 around the world as well. If one market gets shut out, like if the U.S. somehow, some way, were to say crypto's dead in America, that wouldn't have any adverse impact on Bitcoin itself because out of the 8 billion people in the world, only 4% of the global population lives here in the U.S., 96% of the population are still able to buy crypto. So we need to recognize the importance of putting things into proper context. And then finally, there's the contrarian theory. The attitude basically saying, as Warren Buffett famously said, be fearful when others are greedy, be greedy when others are fearful. If there are a lot of folks walking around saying crypto is dead in America, boy, that's a buying signal if I ever heard one. Hey, tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern, join me. I'm hosting a one-hour webinar. Yeah, it's tomorrow, Wednesday, on crypto SMAs. What's an SMA? A separately managed account. These are increasingly popular with financial advisors. They offer substantial benefits and advantages you don't get from ETFs. And you'll discover why a lot of financial advisors really like them. And now, if you are a financial advisor, you'll discover that there's a crypto SMA. You'll discover how crypto SMAs work, how to gain access to them, and how you as a financial advisor can use them to serve your clients better. I'll be interviewing Matt Hogan, the Chief Investment Officer at Bitwise Asset Management, and Chris King, the CEO of Eaglebrook Advisors. This podcast is designed for financial advisors, but everyone's allowed to attend. You too. You can register for the podcast at DACFP.com. D-A-C-F-P.com. The link is in the show notes. I'm Rick Edelman. See you tomorrow. Lately, it seems like buzz around chat GPT and the potential of generative AI is everywhere. But this trend didn't appear from the blue. It reflects years of innovation by many leading edge companies. Looking to add AI exposure to your portfolio? Rather than try to pick individual winners, consider the Global X Artificial Intelligence and Technology ETF, ticker AIQ, which invests in dozens of stocks across the emerging AI frontier. Investing involves risk, including possible loss of principal. Technology companies can be affected by rapid product obsolescence and intense industry competition. 
Before investing, carefully consider the fund's objectives, risks, charges, expenses, and more in the full or summary prospectus at GlobalXETFs.com. Read carefully. Distributed by SEI Investments Distribution Co. Support for Rick Edelman's podcast comes from Invesco QQQ. Meet Henry, an everyday person who enjoys reading science fiction, keeping in shape at the gym, and spending time with family. He also participates in progress by investing in a fund that supports innovative ideas. Invesco QQQ ETF allows you access to innovators of the NASDAQ 100, so you don't have to be a rocket scientist to help push progress forward. Anyone can become an agent of innovation. Learn more at Invesco.com slash QQQ. There are risks when investing in ETFs, including possible loss of money. ETFs risks are similar to those of stocks. Investments in the tech sector are subject to greater risk and more volatility than more diversified investments. The NASDAQ 100 Index comprises the 100 largest non-financial companies on the NASDAQ. You can't invest directly into an index. Before investing, carefully read and consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, expenses, and more in prospectus at Invesco.com. Invesco Distributors, Inc. Demystifying digital assets, putting crypto in context, and getting you ready for what's next. This is the truth about your future with Rick Edelman. 